Hello friends, welcome back. We are studying user defined functions for string and in this video we are going to see the implementation of string str function which will search for the first occurrence of a string in a given string or you can say in a main string. Now similar functionality is provided by C in the form of library function and it is str str and we already studied this function right. Uh, I'll attach the link of this video in a description below. So what this str str function does? Actually, it accepts two arguments. So first is a string, both are this string, okay? And first is a main string where searching is performed and second string will be searched in this main string. Now what this function returns basically this function returns the base address of a found string in s okay if that string is found it will return the address and if that string is not found it will return null now this null is related to memory okay n u double m now let us see this by example now consider that this is our main string where we want to perform the search operation or where we want to perform the searching and this is the another string that we want to found that we want to find. Now here basically this RAM string is present in this program string right it is present here. Now what will our function will do that function will return the address of this RAM string basically the base address of this RAM string inside this S or inside the main string so 3037 will be written these are just uh, imaginary addresses actually the addresses are little bit different just for the purpose of understanding I took this imaginary addresses now what is the logic behind this implementation basically we are going to search the first character of a string that we want to find in our main string means in this case I want to find RAM what is the first character of this string it is R so first of all I will find R in this string so this R is present twice in the main string so what we will do first of all we will find the R so we will get this first occurrence okay then we extract or then we copy some characters or you can say we copy three characters why three because length of this string that we want to find is of three characters so we extract or we copy this three characters in our temporary string so time being assume that we we found this r so from this r we will copy three characters in our temporary string so let us consider that my temporary string contains R O G. Now we will perform the comparison of these two string. Is it same? No. So what we will do? We will find for the next occurrence of R. We will find next occurrence of R. So it is present here. Okay. Now again we copy the three characters in a temporary string. So that three characters are what? ran so is it match yes so we found that string and in that case we will return the address of that ram string in a main string so in this case it is 3037 okay now for the implementation of this uh, functionality we are going to use library function of a string dot h header file or you can write your own function also because we already saw the implementation of other function so just for the purpose of simplicity i am going to use inbuilt function or library function so let us see which inbuilt functions are required here so first is str chr now as i told you we are going to find the character first what we are going to find we are going to find the character we are going to find the first character of this string and to search a character in a string there is already a str chr library function okay then we want to copy only specific number of characters like this in this case we copy only three characters in our temporary string so we are going to use 
strcpy sorry not strcpy we are going to use strncpy function okay we already saw cpy function so what strcpy function does it copies all the characters from source string to destination string whereas in case of strncpy it will only copies n characters of a source string to destination string so here we are only we are going to copy only l number of characters we are going to copy only l number of character and that l is nothing but a length of a string that we want to find so that's why we are going to use ncpy and obviously you might guess third function also which is used for comparison and it is str cmp so if we found if we found a match we can check it with the help of str cmp function okay so i hope you understand this i'm going to attach the link of this two function actually i don't i did, did not cover this function but i cover str chr and str cmp function so i'm going to attach it in a description below okay so let us see the implementation of this function so as i told you we are going to return an address so my return type is definitely what character pointer so let me make it in black character pointer now why character pointer because we are returning the address of a character that's why character pointer uh, so according to our convention i am naming my function as str str okay so i have to pass two string first is a main string where searching will be done and second is a string that we want to find so let us call it as f okay so you can say this is our string f okay now let me declare one temporary string where we are going to copy the l number of character so char say let us call it as tem say about of size 100 okay so this this will be imaginary size or maximum maximum size now we need one character pointer also i'll tell you the reason of this now here as i told you we want to copy only l number of characters from this string and that l is nothing but a length of a string that we want to find so i need to calculate the length and i have to store it somewhere so let me declare one more variable that will hold the length of a find string okay so let us write a code so let us calculate the length first so here again we are going to use one more library function which is str len so we'll calculate the length of a string okay we'll keep it in a l now here i'm going to store the base address of string s in my character pointer p okay so let me do that now why i'm storing it here why i'm why i cannot directly use the s basically we cannot move the address stored in a array okay once you collect it in a pointer variable you can shift the pointer that's why i'm collecting it here and as i told you we are first going to find the occurrence of a first character in our main string so in this case it is r so we are going to find the occurrence of this r character in our main string and whenever we got that particular character we are going to collect it in a same pointer okay so this process will continue till we do not get that character so i have to use loop here okay and as i told you we are going to do this till we do not get that character so here i am going to use loop and my loop condition will be what while p now what p is p is our character pointer when it will hold any address my condition will evaluate to true and when it do not hold any address means in that case if it contain null that is n u double l null so in that case my loop will terminate okay so let us search for the first character in the main string and for that we are going to use strchr function okay so my main string 
is p. I'm going to define it with the help of p. So this will help me to iterate through a loop. So currently p is pointing to the base address. Now what I want to find? I want to find the first character of this find string. So here I'll say f of 0. Okay. So whatever address I'll get, I'll collect it in a p again. So this will help me to iterate through a loop. Okay. Now what this function does, it will find that character. If it is present, it will give me the address. And if it is not present, it will give me a null. Again, n u double l. Remember this thing. Okay. So here r is already present and we collected it in p again. Okay. Now let me check it whether I get the address or not. If p again, if p is holding any address, my loop condition, uh, my if condition will evaluate to true. And if it do not contain any address, it will come out of the if. So if I found that address, means if that particular character is present, okay, what I have to do? I have to copy the L number of characters in my temporary string. So where my P is pointing currently, P is pointing to 3034. Three, so from that point or from that address, I want to copy L number of characters in my temporary string. So here I will say str ncpy. So first of all, we specify the destination string. Then source string is P. And how many character? L. L is nothing but a length of our find string. Now, uh, observe it here carefully that we specify P here. Do not specify S. If you say S, it will always copy from this beginning. I want to copy from this location where P is pointing. Okay, so P is pointing to this part. So from this onward, L number of character, that is nothing but a three characters, get copied in my temporary string. So once it get copied, what I have to do? I have to perform the comparison of this temp string and find string. So I'll write this part here. So if strcmp temp comma find string. Now we know that if both these strings are equal, function returns zero. So if it is zero, if it is zero, then what I have to do? I have to return that address. And that address is already in variable p or in pointer p. So here I will say return p. Okay, I will directly return from the function. But suppose if now in this case r o g and r a m are not same. So definitely this condition will fail. So we want to find the next occurrence of r. We want to find the next occurrence of R. So what we have to do, we have to move this pointer one place later. Why? If you keep it on the same place, it will again find the same occurrence of R. So just to find the next occurrence of R, you have to shift your pointer one position later or two. Or you can even move the pointer by P plus L. It also do not make any difference. So I'll increment the pointer by 1. So now p is pointing here. Okay. I hope you got this. Now my if get terminated. Okay. And even my while also get terminated. Okay. So according to this, we do not get the equal string. So now p is 3035. Again it goes here. So since it is containing an address, it will evaluate to true. Again, it will come here. It will find the first occurrence of a character that is in this case R in a P. Okay, now where P is pointing currently, P is pointing to 3035. So it will found the occurrence from this point onwards. I hope you got my point. It will find the occurrence from this point onwards. So it will find the R here. And again, what we are doing? We are collecting it in P again. 
so p is pointing here now okay so again if p means we got that r okay we got that character so what we will do we will copy l number of character in our temporary string now we'll compare it if both the strings are same my answer is zero so here in this case my both these strings are same so it will give me zero and we, we are returning the value p so what is the value of p 3037 okay and once we got a first occurrence we are stopping our program there okay so again if till the execution or till our first occurrence of a character finish okay my loop will continue but if i found the match i'm returning from the loop i'm returning from the function so my loop will definitely break okay so here if my full loop executes till my condition evaluates to false it itself means i do not find that string so here in that case i'll say return what null so we explicitly return null even you can return p also because in that case p will also contain null and your function will terminate so this is your actually if this is end if and this part is your end while so i hope you enjoy this video okay so definitely try to run this program and if you have any doubt you can write it in the comment section thank you for listening